Make-A-Wish recipients and workers, what were some wishes you had to say no to? Make-A-Wish grantor here, and I have to say it's the ultimate sadness when we have to stop the process because a non-custodial parent won't sign the paperwork. It's happened far too often. Usually the wishes we had to say no to were from the kids' family members. There was always some uncle, grandma, cousin, sibling or parent who wanted to hijack the kids' wish. A classmate of mine, now past, got a meet and greet with Sammy Sosa. The understanding from the Make-A-Wish people was that Sammy would sign autographs and sit with the family for a while. Now, this kid was all about Sammy. He had his jerseys, loved Sammy's little leaps after home runs, and was even into Pepsi because of Sammy too. When the day came, Sammy showed up late. He didn't respond when the family greeted him. It was described as a sullen silence. Signed a glove and then walked away. My classmate started crying once it was clear Sammy was not going to come back. Right when the parents were about to leave, another baseball player named Corey Patterson saw my classmate, came up, signed everything they had, and talked and joked around with the family for over half an hour. Corey became my classmate's favourite player that day, and I think he lived perhaps a year after that moment. At his funeral, my classmate's picture with Corey was one of the prominent pictures. That moment and day truly, truly meant the world to him. He was around 10 or 11, if I recall correctly. To this day, I'm unsure if someone from Make-A-Wish found Corey, or if the moment was as spontaneous as it was described to me. But no matter what, Corey will always have a special place in my heart because of that story. Oh, that is so lovely. We love you, Corey. We love you. But not you, Sammy Sosa. Not you. My little brother has had two heart transplants so far, and will probably get another before it's all said and done. His wish was to go to Nintendo. Well, Nintendo Japan doesn't grant wishes, but Nintendo of America does. He stayed in Seattle for a few days and had a day-long tour of Nintendo. Unfortunately, Reggie wasn't in the office that day, but the Treehouse staff led him around all day. This was right before the Switch came out, so he got to play Breath of the Wild before anyone. They gave him a sweet goodie bag and let him go on a shopping spree in the employee store. That's rad. I hope your little bro's doing well. I received a wish when I was 15. At that time, I was madly in love with Harry Styles and of course wanted to use my wish to meet him and spend the day with him. After telling the wish coordinator this, she broke the news to me that if I were to meet him, it would be a year from then, with about 15 other kids for a very brief moment. A hello and a photo. Upon hearing that disappointing news, I changed my wish and instead went to Australia for 10 days with my family and swam in the Great Barrier Reef. I asked for a shotgun because I was into clay shooting. They said no. Went for a rally driving day. They picked my family and I up in a limo, drove us two hours to the place and then I had the whole place to myself and lots of time behind the wheel. It was great. They paid for pro pictures and a meal after for my family and my godparents' family. Even just gave me some spending money. I had a great time. Ten years later, still alive. Oh, do you know what? This is really filling me with joy. It's really bringing back my faith in humanity. This isn't my personal story, but of my uncle who passed away shortly after I was born. He loved the Terminator so much that he wanted nothing more than to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger. Due to having a busy schedule, Arnold's agent had to deny him of his wish a couple of times, was filming for the second Terminator. My uncle was so determined to meet Arnold that he then changed his wish to meeting Maria Shriver, Arnold's wife. Because of his determination, he was allowed on set of Terminator 2, Judgment Day. He got to meet Arnold, Maria, and Arnold's stunt double. My mum still has the pictures and it makes my heart sore. Make-A-Wish is fantastic and I'm so glad my uncle got to live out his dream. Thank you for everyone who read this and left a reply. My uncle was a great guy and I wish I could have gotten to know him personally. I called my mum and let her know about this comment and all of your responses. She loved her brother more than anything and hearing so many people got to know one of his stories made her so happy. Thank you everyone. I'm glad his legacy gets to live on in such a positive way. That is actually super smart of your uncle to change his wish and still get what he wanted. My condition prevented international travel, so even though my top wishes were to go to Japan or to the UK to meet JK Rowling, those were denied. I ended up doing a shopping spree at the Mall of America, which sounds kind of lame, but I grew up poor and had a lot of fun being able to just buy things for myself without worrying. First thing I bought was a new pair of glasses, since my old ones were scratched to crap and too weak anyway. That doesn't sound lame at all. What fun it must have been to just go through the mall buying whatever you wanted. Good wish. Yeah, that is not lame at all. That's actually really sick. And I hope you had a really, really good time. When I was in college, I had a good friend named John. 
We were both in automotive eight hours a day for two years. One day, we grabbed sushi on lunch and he casually mentioned at 12 years old, current age 20, he was a recipient of Make-A-Wish. He asked for sushi and just sushi. You could see his eyes light up just telling the story. They set him up a private lunch at a local sushi bar where he had the entire selection of sushi rolls laid out in front of him with each and every possible condiment, roll and side. Not an expensive or grandeur request, but Make-A-Wish went above and beyond. I've been the recipient and later on after my health improved, I volunteered as a wish coordinator. My original wish was to attend the Oscars. That got denied by the Academy as they do not grant wishes. I wound up going to the People's Choice Awards as a VIP. Make-A-Wish flew my family to LA for a week. All expenses paid. They got us a limo for the show, paid for my dress, hair and makeup, and we walked the red carpet and were seated very close to the stage. It was a -a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The generosity of the volunteers is remarkable. They even had someone greet us at the airport on arrival. It was extremely important to me that my brother and sister were included in my wish because my illness had robbed them of that part of their childhoods. I am forever in debt to everyone who made my wish possible. When I turned 18, I decided to volunteer as a wish coordinator to give back to an organisation that did so much for me. I met with wish kids and their families. We would always arrive with a gift for all the children in the family based on a little survey they filled out. We'd talk with a child and help define their wish. It's important to determine the child's true wish and make sure that it isn't influenced by parents. The most common wish is to go to Disney. Celebrity meet and greets are the ones that often can be turned down, first because it was undefined what a meet and greet is. It could be the child literally waving at someone and no one wants that. And second, because not all celebrities grant wishes or can schedule time to meet wish kids. The coolest wish I worked on was a shopping spree for a boy who was confined to his room. He got 7k to go buy video games, TVs, a tricked out lazy boy, etc. for the ultimate gaming setup. That got denied by the Academy as they do not grant wishes. Then explain to me how the heck Shakespeare in Love won Best Picture. I worked with the guy who was a -a make-a-wish kid and he said he wished for a puppy and it was denied. It makes sense though that they're not going to give live animals to a little kid. When I was a baby, until I was five I had cancer and got some wishes. My first wish was for a computer. I only wanted a computer because it came with a mouse. Yes, I thought it came with a real mouse. So obviously it was rejected because you can't have pets when you basically live in a hospital and my family was broke as frick anyway so they couldn't give us a pet. I ended up getting some dope butt googly eyeglasses and an epic trip to Disney World. It was the only family vacation we ever got to go on. I knew a friend who had cancer and overcame it and he talked about make a wish. If it's not accepted, you apparently get a first class trip to Disney World most people can't afford. He said he went to Disney World because he wanted to meet a skater that was in Europe on some tour. The most interesting part about this thread is how Disney's like their default wish. So if they can't do something, they just throw you to Disney with the thousands of other Make-A-Wish recipients. Guys, can I just quickly say massive shout out to the Make-A-Wish team. You guys are incredible. Like it's so amazing what you do and we all really appreciate and love you. I was really lucky to have my Make-A-Wish granted and I just want to say they really go above and beyond. My mum has always talked about going to Hawaii and we knew it was pretty unrealistic for our family of four. I was pretty young when I made my wish, so I didn't even know all that Hawaii had to offer, but I chose to go there for my wish. They put us up in a penthouse suite on Wahiki Beach, and I've never experienced anything more special in my life. Everything and everyone there wanted to make sure my family had an unforgettable time, and we sure did. We were able to forget about the cancer for a little while and feel like a normal family again. Thank you so much, Make-A-Wish, and all that contribute. This one in particular just made me happy. I hope you and your family are doing well now. I have experience with Make-A-Wish in the last year due to my son's condition. This was a question I asked and the response I was given was they will do anything they can within reason. One kid wanted a swimming pool in his backyard and they did that. Because of how the process goes with Make-A-Wish, they ask the kid a lot of questions to determine what the child wants and to ensure there isn't any influence from the parents. My wife and I sat with my son while they asked him a lot of questions over about a one hour period to determine what he wanted to do. They asked my wife and I to sit there silently while he answered honestly. We're going to Legoland and meeting Darth Vader sometime in 2019. A couple years ago, I went to Disney at Orlando and there was a little boy running around wearing a shirt that said, I'm a -a make-a-wish kid. My friend had to comfort me when I cried because the toddler's mum and aunt told the pretzel vendor his make-a-wish was originally make mummy happy. Oh, geez. The moment I met the workers, I asked to go to the moon, but was turned down. Tried to compromise with space in general. Ended up going to Italy. Not as cool. 
If we ever get lost or can't find each other, we'll meet up at the moon. I was too young to remember, but my mum told me how Make-A-Wish gave us a camcorder, really nice one at that, to record the time we had left with my little sister. She had leukemia. My crappy father pawned it. That makes me so angry. One of my nieces is a Make-A-Wish recipient. She had stage 4 rehabdomyosarcoma. sarcoma. They flew her, her sisters, her dad and her grandma to Disney World and they had the time of their lives. She's six years cancer-free and still talks about how grateful she was for that trip. She just turned 14 and her younger sister talks about how it was her only airplane ride ever. That organisation is amazing and will forever have all of our support. I've spent many a night there. For my sibling, not me. According to my fiancé, who has coordinated a zillion wishes, travel wishes often get denied when their doctor says that they're not fit to travel. My son chose a Disney cruise. He didn't even hesitate with his pick. Probably because we were on a day one of a Disney cruise we'd been planning for over a year. And when he took a small tumble in our stateroom and wound up breaking his femur, because, unbeknownst to us, his leg was filled with E-wing sarcoma. This trip he'd been looking forward to for so long was destroyed before it even really started. So when it was wish time, he asked for a redo of our cruise. We waited until he'd been off chemo for a couple of months, and we had a wonderful time. We even added days on at Disney World from our DVC timeshare after the cruise. Both the Make-A-Wish folks and the Disney Cruise employees told my son to make sure he wore his Make-A-Wish shirt to the parks when we were there. He did one of the days, and even though that wasn't part of his wish, the Disney cast members all treated him great. It was so nice to see him have such a wonderful trip after a ruined dream vacation and a year of non-stop hospital stays. By the way, he's doing great now. He hit two years off chemo this past September. When I was in high school, I had a classmate who was diagnosed with cancer. She was on the softball team. I think it was softball, though it might have been soccer or something else. Her wish was for her, along with her team, to meet the US Olympic team. It was too much for Make-A-Wish to cover travel expenses for either team, but they were able to fly in one of the main players on the Olympic team to meet her team. She ended up making a complete recovery. And in fact, by then, I think she was completely cancer-free. Still, she wanted to do something for her team and not just for her. I got a wish as a kid, then survived. The biggest, best thing I could think of was to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. I have no idea why I was fixated on that. To the credit of some good peeps, to Chuck E. Cheese's I went. I couldn't be around other people, so they opened it up at night. People deep cleaned it, sterilising each ball in ball pit. That was dedication right there. Then someone who was clear medically worked it. Don't remember most of it. Was pretty young, mostly just remember the bits I found exciting. But that dang rat casino still makes me smile whenever I see one. Moral of the story, never bet against make a wish when dealing with logistics. Every ball in pit. I love this. A thing that most kids take for granted was such a big deal to you, and you'd think that would be a simple wish to grant, but it sounds like they thought about everything and took as much care with your wish as they would for someone going to Disney. Kid I know got cancer in elementary school. He was always into history and US presidents. So we asked to meet him. They flew his whole family out to DC to meet George Bush. Also, he actually spent more time with them than was allotted in his daily planner, according to the dad. The kid beat cancer and is still doing okay. I used to be a tour guide in DC, and you learn pretty quickly to not say things like, how'd you get so lucky, to kids who tell you they're going to meet the president, because quite often the answer is, well, I have leukemia, or whatever. Not a recipient, but I worked at a hard rock cafe. A wish kid's wish was to see Paul McCartney live, so they came in to eat dinner before his concert down the road from the restaurant. We sat him next to some signed Beatles guitars and sheets of lyrics and such. As an avid Beatles fan myself, I was able to serve them. I sat and talked with that six-year-old about the Beatles for a good hour, played all the Beatles songs and had their music videos playing on the TVs throughout the restaurant. It was super humbling with how excited this kid was to see Paul and just to be able to be outside the hospital for the night and also super heartbreaking seeing his dad's face the whole dinner. I never seen such pain and I think about him frequently. I think about the parents whenever I see this stuff. I don't know how I'd be able to keep it together and not break down if this was one of my girls and I was out on a -a Make-A-Wish event with them. Guys, you're definitely not going to hear much from me on this one. These stories are just heartbreaking. Like, honestly, these Make-A-Wish people are actually incredible. They're just the best people I've ever heard of in my life. I'm from Minnesota. When I had leukemia 30 years ago, I remember my wish was to go to the Grand Canyon. My parents straight up voted me. And instead, the family, two sisters, went to Disney World and other Orlando attractions through the Give Kids the World program. It was the right decision, but still. I got offered a -a Make-A-Wish when I was five years old because I had leukemia. My parents declined their offer because my survival was very, very likely, 
and they wanted another kid who was less likely to survive to have it. After I was cured, they took me and my twin brother to Disneyland using their own money. My parents are wonderful people. That's incredible. My son was a Make-A-Wish recipient. He wanted to go to Europe. They were planning it and his birth father wouldn't allow my kids to get passports. Great father, huh? Son had like 36% chance if survival from brain cancer and he said no passports. Anyways, his second wish was an RV trip to the Bandlands, Yellowstone and the Rockies. They got us the biggest bus type, think it's A-class RV they could get, set everything up for us, gave us itineraries and off we went. It's such an incredible organisation and luckily my son had a blast after finally having the okay to go. He's also in remission and doing well, thank God. Make-A-Wish is incredible. When I was in high school, there was a girl that wanted a dollhouse. So Make-A-Wish approached my woodshop teacher. He wasn't having any of that. We ended up building her a two-story playhouse with working kitchen. Sorry, but wow to that father. No passports. Like, considering the situation. Are you okay? Make-A-Wish is a truly incredible organisation. When my buddy was battling leukaemia, they found a way to get him an autographed picture of Cal Ripken Jr. and paid to have an old car restored that he absolutely loved. Rest in peace, buddy. Hope you're still playing outfield in heaven. My brother and I both had wishes. We both chose Disney World. It was the best two family vacations we've had. We both thought about meeting celebrities, but those are obviously contingent on the celebrity accepting. I'm glad we chose something the whole family was able to enjoy. Fun fact. The amount of kids that wish to go to Disney World is so large that Disney built its own resort for them called Give Kids the World, where only families from Make-A-Wish can stay. They have special buses to transport them, doctors are always on staff, and there's special games and activities at the resort for kids who can't make it to the park that day. I adore Make-A-Wish and everything it's done for kids. It helped my friend to the Bahamas when she was sick and said it was one of the best experiences of her life. I don't believe that Disney built that place, actually. Disney works with it, and very generously too, but it was conceived and founded by a Holocaust survivor who worked in hospitality in the area. Each of the nearby attractions donates tickets to the village, and it's staffed by some excellent volunteers. A friend from school wanted to meet the Chippendales. She was 13. It was 1989. Australian Make-A-Wish weren't really happy about that. Her second choice was to see snow. They sent her family to Canada. Whistler, I think. She loved it. My daughter was granted a wish. She really wanted to meet Taylor Swift and see her in concert. But Taylor was not touring at the time, so we, her parents, kiboshed that wish. She was not healthy enough to enjoy a long concert and I didn't want her to postpone her wish since we weren't sure of or how long she might live. In the end, she chose to go to SeaWorld Resort in Florida and swim with the dolphins. She ended up being scared to death of them and refused to even go in the water. Make-A-Wish sent us to Universal while we were there too and she had fun. That was six years ago and she's now in remission. We took her to a Taylor Swift concert this last summer and I think she enjoyed it way more than she would have six years ago. It's been almost a decade since I volunteered with Make-A-Wish, but all you can really do is interact with the family and see what happens. There was a wish kid in her early teens whose aunt lived with her and her mother. The aunt really wanted to go to Disneyland. The wish kid wanted a makeover and shopping spree, but her aunt had done her best to convince her that it was selfish to do that instead of Disneyland. We had to talk to Wish Kid for a while to get there, but she did get her makeover. Guys, what is it with these family members intruding on these children's wishes? Like, I actually find that disgusting. Like, what is wrong with people? I was offered a wish by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. My mum said to give it to someone who needed it. I still remember them trying to talk to me while I was in a wheelchair and my mum saying, she doesn't need it, give it to someone who does. My mum used to get teary-eyed when she bragged about it to me and strangers. Now that I bring it up to her, she miraculously can't remember it. Oh, of course. Now that you're old enough to point out how selfish she was, it suddenly never happened at all. I like to bring that kind of crap up in front of the very people they want to impress. Loudly. My friend, who's a recipient, wanted to go to Australia to the Great Barrier Reef. He loves fish and the oceans and reefs. Anyway, they wouldn't allow him because there weren't the right kind of doctors up there or something like that. They were worried about his health. Even though he's pretty healthy now, he just has to take medicine every day. He was kind of bummed out, but he went to Florida so he was happy. We're both going to start taking scuba diving classes together. We're both 14, by the way. I hope he gets to scuba dive at the Great Barrier Reef sometime. Just got back from my kid's wish trip. Did all the Orlando parks. It was an amazing experience and hope to be able to help others with their wishes in return. We stayed at Give Kids the World Village. That place is definitely heaven on earth. Just filled with the most amazing people and my kids were so sad to leave. I was a Make-A-Wish kid. I asked for a nice laptop and some drawing software. And those guys really hooked it up. 
I got a nice drawing tablet and The Sims 3 too. It really made treatment a lot easier to deal with. So when I was 15, I got to make a wish. My uncle really pushed to ask to meet Tiger Woods and play golf with him. I wasn't into that. Neither were my cervical tumours. I was getting better and I knew I was going to be okay. I told the wish peeps that I wanted to bow out, but they were pushy. Right in front of my mum, I said I wanted to smoke weed with Snoop Dogg and wouldn't accept any other wish. That got shut down. I'm fine and 34 now. If someone shares this with Snoop Dogg, he'll probably invite you to smoke weed now. I worked in music for a few years and we had to turn down wishes when the artist refused to do it. I used to hate them for it. And then one day, I had a really long talk with a, still, major international rock star who used to do it but then stopped. He said that at first it was awesome because he was making kids so happy, but after a while it just got too depressing. All he could think about was the trail of dead kids he was leaving behind him. He also had multiple experiences where the kid didn't even knew who he was, but one or both of the parents were creaming their pants. All stuff he signed for the kid would end up on eBay the next day, etc. We did the standard Disney World trip. My son only had months to live, and we had a small window when he was well enough to go. Bruce was five, so we didn't really have any big creative ideas. He'd only been to Disney World once for a single day, and my husband wasn't able to come. He told the wish granters that he wanted to show Daddy the giant castle and ride roller coasters with no lines. Even though it seemed like the cookie cutter wish, my son's Make-A-Wish experience was truly amazing. I still cry thinking about how much that trio meant to him and our entire family. My son was treated like absolute royalty during the entire trip. Volunteers we met at Give Kids the World visit, the resort where we stayed, really connected with him, and even flew in from states away when he was on hospice and for his funeral. I love reading about the amazing and unique experiences that others request. I'll definitely be following this post. We became so close with our wish granters. Those people are truly angels in this earth. I'm so thankful to everyone involved in Make-A-Wish. Donors, volunteers, everyone. This organisation made such a huge impact on our lives and we made memories that our family will cherish forever. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos coming daily.